Towers, I keep an ASO, 1130 to 1 every day. I take the time with anybody who wants to take time with me. Your interest is my interest. Hi, what's your name? What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna let all of the candidates state their platforms, and then you all can ask questions or else we'll be here all day. Okay. And I know everybody's got stuff they wanna do, okay? So if I'd like to have a second. Say your name, bro. Say your name, my brother. Uh, how you doing, and how you doing, Trade Tech? My name is Lucas Strada, and I'm going for the ASO Treasurer. Now, um, like I'm, like I'm right now. I'm one of the top, top math tutors in the tutoring center, and I'm a Welling student. Apparently, my whole life is student success. Um, the experience I the experience of having been the ASO treasurer give me an advantage give me an advantage of knowing what it takes to be the treasurer. Multitasking is no problem for me because with all activities I'm involved in, I still maintain a 3.5 grade point average. I have went beyond the call of duty as a treasurer to organize a reading workshop on reading on speed reading reading comprehension and note-taking skills in the month of March. If, elect, if elected, my goal is to work collectively as a team to pursue updating our curriculum, remind instructors that they're here to serve us, the students, improve communication on how students are informed and accelerated in math and, and, and accelerated math and English classes. Hello, folks. My name is Joseph Tucker, and I am currently the ASO VP. Um, thanks to Mr. Shea Chauncey for pushing me into joining the student union. I appreciate that, bro. Uh, I'm sorry? Okay, so anyway, uh, my agenda really is to unify the school. One of the bigger problems is that we're cut up into a bunch of factions. You have the transportation department, you have the loading department, you have the culinary department, you also have other departments that more so are not represented or feel like they're not represented. Um, one of the ways is by restarting the school newspaper, but instead of it being run by the school, it would actually be run by ASO. Uh, and also, uh, to get, um, let's see how to say this. All right, there are a couple of issues that are actually going on right now that will affect all of us. Those that drive and those that don't drive. It's the ITAP. I don't know if you know it or not, but the ITAP was actually a band-aid project. It was not meant to be for the full rest of the term as long as we're here. And one of the issues that's being brought to the students is, do you vote for everyone who makes 12 units or more to, to have to pay $24 a, uh, for the semester, whether you drive or not? So in a sense, it's basically a tax for all the students. I'm against that, but I am for finding a new way to work with Metro in order for both sides to actually be taken care of because I don't think the students should actually suffer for someone who was inept at negotiating on the student's behalf. Also, there's an issue with Prop A and Prop J. Now, if you don't know, Prop A and Prop J are both the, the, the bond measures that were passed a couple of years ago, probably about eight to 10 years ago. And that's the reason why you have all the new buildings going around on campus. Well, the bigger problem with that is that we're supposed to actually have certain buildings built that were set up in the original plan, and those aren't being built now. Now they're talking about refurbishing the gym. I don't know if you've been over there or not, but the men's locker room, the women's locker room, and the gym all need to basically be torn down and rebuilt, okay? And the only way I can actually, I can run up and yell, and yell or talk to whomever, but without the students actually supporting and being more involved in ASO, it's not gonna work. So no matter who you vote for, you can vote for any of my colleagues, and the only thing I would definitely ask of you is to join and participate in the ASO because if you don't, we're just this lone person on a horse out there, you know, hollering about the sky is falling. Um, also, let's see. Um, even though I'm scattered now, I'm pretty much still on the hardliner, so I don't believe in rewarding bad behavior. So certain people, certain groups that have actually gotten away with murder on this campus, no. Nah. I think that all students should actually be treated fairly. And one of the bigger problems is that that's not really the case on this campus. 
So I would like to make it more equitable for all students. I basically would like for the students to feel like Trey Tech is a place that when the, once they leave, they can actually be proud of. So when we do turn around on the 30th and have the alumni meeting for all the former students, they'll actually come and say, wow, Trey Tech's pretty good. And five years from now, when you guys are starting your businesses, you'll think, wow, I actually got a lot out of Trey Tech. And you know, let me call over there and see if I, there are any guys there that I can hire, okay? Uh, that's basically it. Thank you. My name is Ardi Castillo, and I want to be your next ASU president. The purpose of my presidential candidacy is to address the unique concerns of career and technical education students, and to help, to help promote collaboration between CTE programs and the liberal arts studies. I am running for president to represent the students of Los Angeles Craig Technical College. I am here to serve the students and only the students. I have been an active member of the ASO first semester. I have, I have also participated in many committees in CETAS, the Basic Skills Committee, Student Success Committee, and the Math and English Committee. At this moment, administrators and faculty are dealing with the massive budget cuts so that the students are so at this time, students' voices need to be loud and united in efforts to ensure our educational needs to be fulfilled. At this time, I work closely with the non-credit department, guiding new students on the correct path to success. I will be your voice on college student success, fight for the Black Student Union's legal empowerment day, updating our curriculum, and informing students about the movement and changes on campus. I will also pursue for accelerated English and math courses. Too many of us start off at English 64, never making it to transfer level courses. Too many of us start at a lower level of math, never making it to a college level. Let, us, let me share a statistic with, with you. If 100 African American students enroll at a lower level math course, only three, and just only three, will successfully complete a college level math. Only 19 students out of 100 Latino students will successfully pass the math course. We should be outraged with these numbers. Let me let be honest. The state is broke and we cannot do anything about increasing students. However, we could demand and help the college to increase student success. I am proud of my decision of attending Los Angeles Trade Technical College. And if you elect me as your ASO president, I will not let you down. Thank you, Arlene, and I'd like to remind our candidates, please speak into the microphone so everybody can hear you. And I'd like to bring up our final presidential candidate, Timothy Jones. As it stands, our campus is undergoing a wide-scale renovation, a renovation which relative to our previous construction, will afford the new generation of students with new opportunities for advancement in their respective careers, positive facilities for their personal development, and the opportunity to learn more about the world in which we live. In light of this renovation, the old adage, beauty is only skin deep, seems most appropriate. The students are crying out for a change, a change that not only affects the campus, but also affects the quality of their lives. Everywhere around the campus, we as students are faced with blatant expressions of many of our society's misgivings. These misgivings ranging from ongoing crime within our community, defacing of our public property, and pollution of our environment. It is common knowledge that each and every one of us must adapt to our surroundings. Yet the direction of our adaptation is completely contingent upon the environment itself. Consider the situation. Many students, myself included, I've experienced an almost offensive sense of disregard at the hands of many administration members and faculty. Complaints have arisen surrounding classroom etiquette, the disruption of the structure of the classroom which causes the student to face difficulty understanding the material. Compounding this problem is the complexity of the material in which the student oftentimes facing some degree of uncertainty is not afforded a thorough understanding because of time constraints imposed upon the class sessions. When we consider the situation outside of our classrooms, Many of our hallways are marked with stains because of ongoing graffiti, littering, and neglection of duties, allegedly on the SAS behalf. Will the students stand for this?
Furthermore, what can we as students do to alleviate the situation? All of us have a stake in the college, which is a haven, a temple of development, and a safe place for the acquisition of knowledge, wisdom, and a higher level of understanding, not just for ourselves, but for the entire community. Countless times I've witnessed, as I'm sure many of you have also, conditions present in our community that we are forced to look upon. Conditions in which, by all standards and measures, should not exist. How many times have we witnessed our campus littered? How many times have we been faced to use other restrooms because of unhygienic conditions? It is at this point that I will no longer use this. We are in a situation, as many of you have already aware, and I'm certain that many of you have seen the flyers. Myself, my name is Timothy Jones. I came to this campus in 2006. Originally, I started off as a culinary arts student. Ultimately, I ended up studying science and physics. I'm currently your standing senator of mathematics. Throughout this semester, I have put forth every effort in all of my time, due diligence, to create a laboratory, which there is one in TE 423, for those of you who don't know. There is a mathematics laboratory to help the students. We must come to an understanding that our campus, the way in which we structure our campus, is how we will structure our communities. Because where we are right now, we are the individuals who will inherit the world. And with that said, in the upcoming election, remember Timothy Jones. I will represent you. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Okay, now since we've heard the platform of all of our current candidates on the ballot, I am now taking questions for open forum. Please state your name and who the question is directed to. My name is Michael Miller. I've been, I've been a student of LA Trade Tech for approximately four and a half years. Um, my uh, major is electronic communications. I'm also in physics. My question to should it be someone in particular or just... If you wanted to 